Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Carandang. I'm a psychiatrist, and I'm here to answer your questions about anxiety. We have a question from a person named Guy in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and he asks, the release of cortisol during the fight or flight response occurs at the end of what pathway? To answer this question, cortisol is released at the end of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal pathway, which is located here on the right side of the diagram. So you see here, cortisol is released. And here, this part of the diagram is the hy hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. So let's go through the fight or flight response. The fight or flight response is initi initiated by fear. So when fear is perceived, a part of the brain call called the amygdala is activated. When the amygdala is activated, it activates two systems in the body. It activates the sympathetic nervous system, and it also activates the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal pathway. So let's start with amyg the amygdala activating the sympathetic nervous system. The amygdala activates the locus ceruleus, which is another part of the brain, and this in turn activates the sympathetic nervous system. So the sympathetic nervous system is part of the autonomic nervous system which, con which controls the various body organs in your body. And this is under involuntary control, meaning it is controlled without your conscious awareness. So when, the, when fear activates the amygdala, then it activates the sympathetic nervous system. What happens is two things with the sympathetic nervous system the sympathetic nervous system activates smooth muscles and glands via neuro neuronal, co neuronal connections and it also activates the adrenal medulla. So the adrenal medulla are glands, two glands that actually sits on top of the kidneys. So the adrenal gland in the adrenal gland contains the adrenal medulla, which is the inside of the, of the adrenal gland, and the adrenal cortex, which is the outer part of the adrenal gland. So the sympathetic nervous system activates the inner part of the adrenal gland, the adrenal medulla, and this in turn releases adrenaline and noradrenaline into the bloodstream. The amygdala also activates the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal system pathway and this activates the hypothalamus another part of the brain which then activates the pituitary gland via the hypothalamus releasing cortisol releasing factor to activate the pituitary gland this in turn activates the pituitary gland to release adrenocorticotrophic hormone this then travels in the bloodstream to the adrenal cortex which again sits on top of the kidney and the adrenal glands, um, the outer part of the adrenal glands is the adrenal cortex. And then cortisol is released from the adrenal cortex and this is released into the bloodstream. So what you see then, the neural impulse which activates smooth muscles and glands, the adrenal medulla releasing adrenaline and noradrenaline adrenaline, and then the adrenal cortex releasing cortisol, these all culminate in what you see as the fight or flight response. So fear induces this fight or flight response, which makes you highly alert, makes your heart race, makes your heart beat faster, makes you breathe faster, makes your muscles tense. So basically this gets you prepared for either fighting the danger or for running away from the danger. So to answer the question, the pathway from which cortisol is released is the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal pathway. 
For more information on anxiety, please visit anxietyboss.com. I hope this answers your question. Thank you for listening.